Hello, uh, this is Marcus and Juan, and thank you for joining us on our fifth episode um, on Indigenous Podcast. Today, we are going to go over the top 10 excuses that critics and I'm going to call them maybe not native haters, but people that usually want to say that uh, those from Central South America and those in the US are not native, even though we look pretty freaking native. Um, so yeah, as I said, we're going to go over about 10 things here, and um, I look forward to dismantling each and every one. Uh, Juan, you want to go into a little bit more about it? Yeah, so like, I swear, we run into these same 10 arguments every freaking time we post a video, every time we make a post, whether it's on Facebook, Reddit, this YouTube channel page, which you've had a little bit of surge of haters, uh, everywhere. It's always these same 10. And if you could, if you completely dismantle one of these, they'll, they'll go to this ne next fucking point or they'll go to the third. Like, it's like they're parrots. Like, like, like you just repeat the same argument. So if you make any of these 10 arguments, watch this video, finish it to the end. If I have commented this link and we're in an argument, it's because you've made one of these 10 arguments and I'm not going to waste my time writing a whole essay on this because I've done that with countless people in the past and it's just a waste of time. Just watch the video. And that's why I left the link. Exactly. Well said. Uh, so in this, Juan is going to be the cheeky conquistador <laughs> who uh, <laughs> is going to try to belittle me the best he can. And I'm going to be the oh, yeah. native who, um, as I said, dismantles each and every argument that he has for me. So, oh, to be, to be FYI, to be in character, my voice is going to change. So feel free to laugh. Yes, he will morph into some sort of creature. And here he is. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and start. So we hope you do enjoy this. <sighs> Feels good to be native. <laughs> You're not actually native, though. <laughs> what? You're not 100% up and tail right now just by looking at you. You're not 100%, so why are you saying that you're native? What the hell? Yeah, so there are millions of natives in the U.S. and Canada that aren't 100% either. I know there's different acceptance rates between 60 to 25% um, Native American. So don't go telling me that I'm not 100%. And I'm going to say that I am, without a doubt, at least 70 or 80% native um from peru um so don't you know get out of here with that bs argument oh, okay well you're mestizo like they're, they're, after 500 years you're a brand new identity and you fall under that category most countries are majority mestizo countries so that's what you fall into you're you're mixed you're mixed you're a hybrid so uh, what do you got to say about that oh you're gonna use that word again huh the old uh, mestizo colonial term that's used to divide us. Yeah, so that term is actually still on government census forms, despite it being created by Spaniards and still Im implemented to this day. It serves no purpose except to divide, um, as I said, natives up. Um, again, that term serves even more of a purpose to not only divide us up, but to have us against each other. You see so many people that identify as mestizo who are pretty freaking native that shared discriminatory views um, against people and tribes. And it's sad with, you know, the Mestizo itself, the Spaniards use this sort of system also with Castizo as well to slowly erase the identity of a native by um, mixing with Trillos uh, or Spaniards. And then once those kids were half, or, you know, people were half native, half Spaniard, they would want them to go ahead and marry another Spaniard, eventually phasing out the race. Again, it's quite sad, um, but it's still, as I said, used today. Look at the media. Look at the media of South America and you know Mexico. You tell me how many natives you see on there. It's mostly people that you know with, with European features, um, white skin. And again, um, Countries like Guatemala, Brazil, Argentina um, wanted to whiten populations to erase us. Um, and those are all facts. Well, okay, well, you're rejecting your Spanish heritage. So that's really unhealthy. You, you hate a part of yourself. I mean, honestly, I think you need to be psychologically checked out, really. 
if you just hate a part of yourself. Oh, okay. So which part of myself should I like if I was Spanish? Should it be the part where they ravaged our women? Or should it be the part where they enslaved us? Or should it be the part where they pretty much put a genocide um, and killed off millions, uh, if I'm not correct, 90% of native population um, in the US, Southern US, Mexico, Guatemala, the Caribbean, or the racist system that they implemented to make sure that Spaniards are on top and everyone else is on bottom, that's still going on today. Yeah, I'm okay with not being a part of that heritage, buddy. Be as it be it as it may, you know the cultures are a blend, and you can't escape that fact. So, what which part of the Spanish culture um, helped you know natives as to who we are today? Because if I'm not correct, natives had advanced civilizations. They had running water. They took showers twice a day, which I'm for sure I definitely know that Spaniards did not. They had chocolate, they had gold, they had institutions, they had, again, roads. Um, they were already civilized and we had, you know, our own holidays. Uh, and again, tacos, burritos, all of that, it's all native. And I'm perfectly fine with um, being proud of that culture. Um, the only thing that Spaniards brought were disease, um, warfare, again, I'll say genocide. Okay, well, you didn't grow up in an indigenous community anyway, so, and you don't even speak an indigenous language, so I really don't think you're native. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware that I didn't grow up in uh, an indigenous community, but so are the other millions of native people that are in the U.S. and Canada um, who didn't grow up in communities either. So are you going to deny them too? I mean, you've got natives that were in, living in you know, urban cities right now, and they're not growing up in their communities either. All right, well... You don't even have a tribe, or you don't even know your tribe, so, you know, quit playing around, dude. Like, you, you just look like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are lots of tribes that don't exist right now because of what your ancestors did. Or should I talk about how the U.S. government had planned in the 1950s to get rid of all tribes? So what would that make them? Or maybe I should go about how Austria-Hungary which used to be a white country, no longer ceased to exist. So are they no longer white either? Maybe I should go about talking about the First Nations in Canada, where people from teachers and priests would take these kids, steal them, and pretty much whitewash them for them to no longer think that they're part of a tribe and then psychological damage and God knows what else. So don't be lecturing me. Or, or Will, you know, aren't you speaking over the real natives with the culture? like? Isn't that what you're doing right now? Because, I mean, they still retain it. You don't have it. So, you know, you're, you're speaking over the really oppressed people. Like, you know. No, I respect those natives, you know. And I would hope that they would give me um, a little bit of respect, too, knowing that uh, millions of us were pretty much had our culture destroyed. Our ancestors had our cultures destroyed and are thrown into the system where uh, European Spaniards are pretty much on top. And we're all at the bottom and they still use this system today to have us hate each other, create racism. So I don't believe I'm speaking over them. I know what I say and my job and my goal is to unify all of us against people and you know, racists like you. Oh, 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 oh. well, the history. <laughs> just so stupid. Oh, oh, well, the history was different for our people. I mean, the Spanish had mixed marriages, so it wasn't all bad, like, especially with the immigration raves from the 1800s and the 1900s. I mean, they, these, were, these were Spaniards that didn't even take part of the conquest, and they just came and just married people. So well, how are you trying to, you're trying to say that they're all evil, and that's a fucked up thing to do. So Spaniards weren't that bad, huh? So which part of whatever they did wasn't related to white supremacy. Because as far as I know, that even though what you say is that they married native women, which many of that was by force, much of that was by force, they still put in the white supremacist structure where they were still on top. Um, 
And you're saying that it was better with them? Or should I go about with the genocide and the slavery that took place after? Or even the mines that they sent us in to work in for silver and gold? Or they sick their dogs on us? Or the islands again that they, they wiped out? I don't even know how many natives, probably up to millions, as I said, on islands of the Dominican um, Republic, Haiti, Cuba. So tell me which part should I be happy that whatever you say is not as bad. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Look, you didn't even grow up in Peru anyway. So you're, aren't you just being a LARPer? Like mm -hmm. You're just being a big fake crony. You didn't even grow up in Peru. Silence, narc. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that, yeah, that's right. I didn't grow up in Peru. I didn't grow up in any of these countries, but I read and I can see and I can listen and I can write and I see what goes on. I see the genocide that takes place. I see what goes on in the Amazons with the natives being destroyed even to this day to make room for what more Europeans, more people that don't care about natives. Or should I talk about Guatemala with the mass genocide from Rios Mont? Or maybe I should talk about my own country where people that don't even know the president Fujimori was actually even born in Peru who started the sterilization of hundreds of thousands of native women so why don't you get out of here with that LARP nonsense oh, 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 okay well honestly I just think you're being a Nazi racist clown because race is a social construct it's not even real and the fact that you just keep speaking about race it doesn't speak well of you, so I just think you shouldn't even be bringing this up as a discussion, dude. Like, race isn't even a real thing. Listen here, clown. Your ancestors brought in this system. I'm using it to my advantage against you. So you can go back to where you came from. Get the fuck away! What the fuck?